Okay, now that we've actually got a cluster going, let's customize it. When you first run Vehicle Spy, you'll see this setup. Let's go ahead and use the hardware setup dialog now. First, I have Don't Show This in the Future. That way, this dialog will not show up again. However, you can access the hardware setup by hitting one of these high hardware icons that's located in different parts of the software. First, I'll click Next. The first tab allows you to monitor a cluster or run with a simulated cluster. Since we're not connected to a real Flexray network, we're going to create our own simulated cluster, so we'll click Simulated Cluster. And I'll click Next. Next, it asks for a 5x database file. Since we're not using one right now, we can leave this blank. This is a total, total option. Next, we can either use a cluster setup wizard or the 5x file. Since we didn't enter a 5x file, we'll use the cluster wizard. The cluster wizard builds a simple cluster. While not a full configuration tool, it helps you set up different types of Flexray networks so you can experiment. Here, let's change our cycle length. And I'll change it to 2 milliseconds. And I'll make a smaller static segment. And I'll change my static messages to 32 bytes. So I'll go ahead and generate. Click OK. And now I will go ahead and go online. And you can see that now we have our messages. It automatically generates the two startup frames needed to start up the cluster. And we have our 32 bytes. And if we look at our periodic rate, it's two milliseconds. So we successfully created a different type of cluster. And we can actually visualize this by looking at the Flexray Cycles view. And you can see here we have our static segment, our dynamic segment, idle time, and you can see that slots one and two are filled up with our startup messages.